Hello, this is Goku Photosum One, and uh, me, BK Critic, and now Death Attacks Reviews are back. This time with our top ten favorite video game franchises. Now, this, yes, we finally got our third member. And this is exciting because this list was probably the easiest list I've ever had to do. Now, let's get out a little rule. Now, because we haven't... At this time when I'm recording this, we haven't really uh, worked out all the little details. So, if either... Uh, if uh, BK Critic or Death Attacks Reviews doesn't agree with my judgment here, please give me a message or a comment. Um, and we'll work it out. But, um, yeah. So, there's only... There's no actual rule here. There's only one thing I have to get out of the way. Anybody can join in. It's uh, top ten video game uh, video game franchises. If you're late on the if you're if you're late, simply record a uh, simply do your your previous ones um, as a video response to uh, basically you can only you only have to do one video and do it a video response to whatever number we're on at that time. Because we're on 10 right now, all you'd have to do is your number 10. Okay, but um, how I see it is video games like LEGO Star Wars is... LEGO Star Wars would be one video game franchise. Things like Star Wars would be multiple because uh, Star Wars Knights of the Republic would be one. Uh, Battlefront would be another one because they're so massive. Lord of the Rings also has the same thing with multiples. Um, Mario would have multiples. Um of the different types of Mario games. We have the Mario platformers, which is Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, all the Super Marios would be in one category. Uh, Mario Brothers would be in another category. And um, if, any, uh, if either uh, Death Attacks Reviews has a problem with this, or if uh, BK Critic has a problem with this, please leave me a comment. And so now let me get on to my number 10. Now, recently the list actually had a little overhaul. Not really an overhaul, but my number 10 actually got it removed for my number 3. Not kidding. I missed number 3, and I almost didn't put it on the list, which would have been a huge, huge setback. But my number 10 is a game that I played late. I played back, uh, back when I had a PS2, back before PS3 came out. But it was a PS1 franchise, and it was great. I knew somebody who actually owned number one long ago, and she wasn't really much of a gamer, so she asked me to help her. And I didn't really, I couldn't really help her because I didn't understand the game. But eventually I bought the game and I beat it. But I bought two first. Two was easier for me to get a hold of, and that is Parasite Eve. Now, because of the type of uh, list this is, I'm actually going to give a mini review of the Parasite Eve franchise. And then I'm going to tell you why I like it so much. Okay. Parasite Eve is a game where you play Anna Briggs, a uh, a New York City uh, police detective. In the very first game, in the second game, you play something else. And so, basically, this incident happens, and she has to go to an opera house, and she finds out that this uh, this lady is setting people on fire, and she has to go on this, uh, I believe it's six-day adventure, to try to stop her. And she soon finds out that she's intertwined in this. And this is much bigger than she ever thought it possible. The game is set during Christmas. And I don't know if I like this one better than the second one. Because they're so different. This one, the first game, actually was more based around... Was in many ways more based around using... Uh, using uh, It's more of an RPG. It's not as much of a third-person shooter as the second one is. It has more RPG elements. You level up, you have these awesome powers. I mean, you have a lot of that stuff in the second one, but in this one, it was better, and I think it was more refined. And so, the game is, and it's more, and it's turn-based, actually. And I like that. Now, the second one is very similar to Resident Evil, which was a very good thing. It was a very, uh, if you're going to copy a game, Copying a game like Resident Evil is not a bad choice, but it did it really well, and it it, it mixed good stuff with it. Uh, you get armors, 
um, when you beat the game, you get a ranking system, so beating the game multiple times gives you something. There are multiple endings in part two, and so, yeah. Now, Parasite Eve actually originally was a book, then became a movie, then became a game. And it did best at a game. Now, I heard the book was good, and I liked the movie. The movie's hard to find, but if you can find it, check it out. You, because the, uh, because the movie is a prequel to the game, you don't have to know anything about the game to understand the movie. Like, I was like, oh, I want to check, check out this movie years and years ago, and that was the first, the, the, the movie was the first one I ever watched, and I understood it because it, it has, it, it came out before the game, which was very interesting. And why I like this is because it's such a really refined and good gameplay mechanics. It's interesting. It has uh, good characters. You care about the characters in it. You don't want them to die. It's It's got a good secondary cast of characters. It tells a really good story. It's not the greatest game ever. I would give I would give both games about an 8 out of 10. They're, they're must plays if you like RPGs and if you like Square Enix. But they're but they're different. They're not your traditional RPGs, and that's why I like them because I I, I, I like differences. I, I like I like my Final Fantasies and I and I like that type of RPG. But I also like my Mass Effects and I like those RPGs. So yeah, but this is this is kind of in between those two those two extremes, and I like it. And I can't wait for a third birthday, which it's not Parasite Eve three third birthday. It's called. Paris, or it's called Third Birthday. The first two games were on the PSP, or the PS PlayStation, and the uh, Third Birthday will be on the uh, PSP, PlayStation Portable. And instead of playing um, against, instead of playing against mitochondria that you did in the first two, you're going to be fighting against Twilight. I heard it's more of a third-person shooter, but this is not a game franchise that sticks to one formula and just makes it better each game. So I can't wait to see what they do in this game. I definitely can't wait to play it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this was a really good game franchise, and that's why it made my number, uh, that's why it made my number 10. This was Goku4071. Please leave a comment or a video response. Please leave what you think, or uh, what you think is your number 10 favorite video game franchise and uh next week i will be back with number nine this was goku 4071 and i'll see you next time youtube